friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Train Fever. Last time around, well, when I left you, let's put it that way. Uh, when I left you, I was busy trying to make this road look a little better. I've made it look a little better. In fact, it's looking quite unconventional. I'm not entirely sure why I've got these two spurs ready to go, but I'm sure I'll find a reason for them. Um, anyway, today we are uh, we're going to be uh, building goods rail. That's what you came here for. That's why you're paying me the money. Uh, goods rail is what it's all about. First things first, I'm going to set that so we've got a room for an engine shed at the end of it. And then straight in. So we're going to need to connect from, uh, where's it gone? There we go. This uh, steel, iron ore, iron ore, that's what it is. This iron ore up to that station and this coal up to that station. Now, you know, the smart goods might be, the, the smart goods, smart money might be on using this coal and this iron to serve this, but no, I want to bring from two different directions, because, you know, that's better to look at. Uh, it's not monetarily efficient, but then I'm I'm beyond the stage where money really bothers me that much. I've, I've got good cash at the moment, and providing I don't be, you know, entirely reckless, uh, you know, all should be well. Now, uh, in the previous episode, I discussed the, the likelihood of difficulty in having this rail coming out of here. And it's going to involve, because we've got this kind of gully going down, I don't know if you can make it out or not, but we've got this kind of gully set up here uh, that is going to make for some entertaining track laying. Uh, I, we'll, we'll see exactly how that manifests before too long. Anyway, let's see what you actually want to get up to. Are you climbing all the way there? We don't need you to climb all the way there. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Ridiculous. I'll take that, though. I mean, it's still faintly ridiculous. But I want to get over to this, uh, this iron deposit. No, no, back up. Try and try and maintain some straight. This is I don't. You, now I understand, you, you know, using uh, this kind of excessively pillared approach. I think I'm going to have to make this road go underground because I've got the passenger rail to do here as well. Uh, yeah, I understand using you know extensive numbers of pillars if you if you're crossing a gorge, but no no civil engineer in their right mind surely. Would uh, would advocate just you know an unnecessarily raised. Why, why are you still going down? No, no. Well, now we need to be going up. And I appreciate that that's expensive. Let's pull it back to there so that we're not. Okay, I, I you know we we are in the realm of the faintly ridiculous. Um, but that's that's how we like to roll. Right, let's get rid of some of that. Let's give it a... Does it need a road? It does need a road, I think, in order to, to exist as an entity. Uh, let's go medium here. In fact, let's think about where I'm sticking the station. I mean, from here, we can go either side. All right, it's flatter this side, so I think we'll go this side. Um, right, no. Yes, freight station. Good. Okay, one track is all that is required here whiz you around. Now, uh, I can't remember who it was, uh, and therefore it was probably uh, the Archangel Gabriel suggested that um, uh, that using the, the longest station known to man is, uh, is not particularly cost effective. Why have I got a humpback bridge now Hello. in the uh, in the setup? I don't understand why that's happened. And yet it has. So uh, let's try and uh, let's try and resolve that because you know that was that's just frankly unnecessary. We don't we don't need that level of uh, of excessive excessive. Uh, it's just going to do the same thing again. All right, I'm going to take it as far as here. Maybe maybe down a touch. No, not down a touch. We'll go straight and then link up. Although that has put a, a 115 kilometer mile, a kilometer speed limit in the mix there, so we're going to try and avoid doing that if at all possible. There we go. That's a little bit better. 
and I believe I've probably put the hump back in there. Right, in that, I'm just going to settle. I'm just going to leave it. Thanks for nothing, game. Okay, and then we're going to set up along here just so that we can hook it back up onto the road. Just, just to keep the game happy. I imagine it's so that the, the magnificent workforce who would rather not live under this rock have somewhere they can go. Okay, so that's uh, that's iron ore connected, and then we're going to do the same thing with the coal, except the coal should be more straightforward, given it's more or less a straight line. It's just going to be a case of, of building a compelling and exciting tunnel. Does that feel compelling to you? And it's all downhill, but fortunately, uh, that means it's, it's, it's dragging its load uphill, uh, which is possibly going to... Uh, no, is definitely going to eat into its top speed. So I need to be a little bit wary of that just to ensure that I put a uh, an engine, a loco on that, that, that has got sufficient pulling power to get the job done. Uh, let's, no, 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 let's not do that yet. Let's wait until we know what we're actually building here. Let's put the station in. No, you want trains, trains. That means the track thing. Okay, and we're going to go out here. Uh, hold on, no, that's a bad idea. I want to go around this way because otherwise the goods from the uh, from the the coal mine can't actually get to the station. That's what you want the road for. That's what you want the road for. Okay. <laughs> Forgive me, I, 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 missing the obvious there for a moment. Um, right, connect you up there like that. Everybody's happy. And then we just need to get this up here. Let's go. Now this is going to be, um, what's the best way to describe it? Expensive. That's the best way to describe it. It's going to be an expensive route to uh, to operate initially. Uh, we're going to be running two trains. And, uh, you know, they're, they're going to be heavyish hauling of the goods variety. I don't actually need to high speed these rails, but, you know, it's that's just uh, something that I do. Okay, right, so, uh, one, two, three, good. So, next I need to make sure that I've got truck stops set up, because otherwise I can, you know, I can start making plans for, for major deliveries as much as I like, but uh, uh, but no goods are actually going to generate if I don't set up a few routes. So, let's get that going. And while we're at it, and given that I'm feeling flush and foolish, I'll even put a depot in here as well. Okay, right. What do we think? Premature, there's premature. Right, Plymouth. Yes, you can have some. Worksop, you can also have some. Derby is within range. Redcar, I think, is a given. And how about Nailsworth? Uh, let's have a look at Nailsworth. Uh, goods, 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 goods. Cargo line supply, 48 of 63. So there is some demand in Nailsworth. So let's get roading. Now, we're coming from... I've lost my place. Uh, we're coming from here. So people are going to wind, the trucks are going to wind their way down here. Which actually, own, is that the best route we can go? We could go straight out of here. Yeah, okay, we'll make this, uh, we'll, we'll give people options. There is enough space. There, there I'm, I swear there is enough space. Maybe there isn't enough space. Hold on, let's put a, a something a little smaller, a little more delicate, and then we'll go with a larger one. Right. Okay, and this is this is more road that is likely to uh, meet its maker when uh, when the passenger line comes through here. But I'm going to have to figure that out when the time comes. And then, no, you see, it, it just. Get with the program, will you? And then, do we want to go over the rail, or should we go in parallel? I think we'll go over if we get a chance. Let's have a look. Go on, give me a give me a bridge. There is enough space. You're just not trying hard enough. Look, something like something like that. Admittedly, I didn't have the road right over the the gully. 
because it just makes it just makes for an interesting view while we're going. So it wants me to go like that, and maybe I can. Come on, there is enough space. I mean, I can make this thing dance to the music all day long, but that's that's not going to help me. Um, okay, stuff it. Right, we'll go up round the side. There, yeah, that's, that's that's all there is to it. We will uh, we'll parallel the track a little, semi-parallel the track a little. Go around the edge here. Come on, and then out this side. Now, do I need to leave? anything at the end here. No, this this uh, this ore facility is never going to go anywhere. Oh, for, just cooperate. There we go. And there's nails worth down there. So I think what the, the, yeah, I think the smarter thing to do here would be get rid of this road and we'll build a new one that goes something like that and then we'll hook this up onto that no look just is it not incredibly obvious what I'm trying to do game and then we'll do another one out here yeah yeah just like that despite the fact I, I'm not using this coal uh, coal mine at the moment you know that's kind of good okay so that's my nails worth route I now need something similar to get to worksop which I've already got uh, are we looking at red car as well? Red car is miles away. Let's do another count. One, two, three, four. I prefer five, and given that I'm running trains, I think I will run five. Or I could go Red Hill. But Red Hill truly is, truly is miles away. Uh, the other option, of course, is I could run it out by train. But uh, but delivering goods by train well, that way lies madness. the The odds of profitability there are very very slim. So what are we thinking here? Because I don't want to take trucks through the centre of of, of workshop. They're they're going to be queuing for ages. A bypass would be ideal, but I can't. I can't be certain the trucks would actually take that route. So instead, what we will do, we will assume that they're going to go straight through the centre of workshop for now. And if I need to later on, maybe a reword there. When I need to later on, I'll look at building a bypass for it. Now I apologise for this this road building section here, but uh, needs must. No, you you. You can't get with the program even when very obviously invited to do so. Now, I, uh, I appreciate, actually, in the last episode, I promised you that we were going to be doing more tram action today. But, uh, yeah, you might have noticed I haven't got to that. Uh, that's that's not really come off. Because when it comes down to it, I would rather be mucking about getting goods line set up. Right, there we go. Nice straight line. Okay, let's get some uh, let's get some truck station action going. Now, red car is uh, you know is well, it's not even a work in progress. It's a work not yet in progress. Uh, Nailsworth, where's Nailsworth's truck stop? It's all the way over here near the craziest bit of road you're ever likely to see. Uh, okay, so I think we'll give Nailsworth a second truck stop here so that. I and mean, the good news about that is it means we're, we're feeding both sides of the town. Plymouth is already catered for, as is Derby. Yeah, okay, right, we're good to go. Um, right, truck time. So that's five. I'm going to run two to each to start with, and we'll get them rolling now to start building up demand. Uh, goods. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not the cheapest investment ever, and obviously I've done that the wrong way around because I should have got the roots done first. So let's get the roots done now. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, number one is going from here out to. Oh, that's, that's 
as barely, barely worth the effort. So this is Plymouth Steel. Plymouth Steel. Okay, good. Happy. Uh, right, you're ready. And in fact, you... Go and, go and Plymouth your steel there, friend. I might end up only putting one truck on here, it has to be said. Uh, there, right, off you go. Uh, next line. From Plymouth Exchange, out to... Out to Derby, I reckon. Now, where's Derby's existing truck stop? there look right good uh, and this one is Derby still Derby no 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 click the thing first click right delete and go Derby still wonderful uh, you get to work Derby still right all right smashing good get rid of that get rid of that next one uh, is let's do Nailsworth all uh, right so and this is this is quite a trek. But it all counts. Uh, providing we can keep the timing suitably uh, suitably suitable. Nails worth uh, steel. Right, good. That's another, that's another one happily done. Uh, you nails worth steel, por favor. Ha. Huh. We already appear to have a Nailsworth Steel 2. Oh well. Uh, well, I know. We'll, uh, we'll worry about that, probably, at some point. Uh, anyway, next uh, is going to be this one, and you're going to Worksop. Is, I believe it's Worksop we're going to. Right there. Worksop Steel. Okie doke. Worksop steel. Have fun. And lastly, this one out here going from Plymouth out to Red Car. I mean, that's a that's a trek and a bit, that is. Uh red car steel. Hey, how about we actually add the stations? There's a there's a thought there. Right, excellent. You get to work. As you can see, I do have one or two goods lines in operation now. Um, right, let's look at the timings on those. Uh, where are I? Plymouth Steel, 125 seconds. You're not getting another one. Red car, 10 minutes. We'll put two more on that. Uh, I'll, and I'll do that in a minute. Let's go Derby. Derby still eight minutes. Fine, you can have a second. Now, if I, if I had any sense at all, which, you know, you've been watching long enough to know I don't, uh, I should pause the game at this point until I've got the, the trains running as well. Uh, and let's get another one on uh, Nailsworth. Nailsworth might need three, as may uh, uh, Redcar, but we'll uh, we'll evaluate that now. Nailsworth steel four minutes acceptable. Thank you very much for playing. Uh, let's put you on Redcar now, given that it's flaming miles away. Redcar steel. And then Worksop, what's my turnaround on Worksop? Worksop is also 10 minutes. Well, I'll definitely put another one on that. Worksop still. Now, I mean, the thing with spacing vehicles out in this way is, I, firstly, it means that you should always have some cargo on board everything you send out. But, uh, you know, even then, you're, you're going to be Red Hill still, no, Red Car, Red Car still. Interesting. I have clearly assigned a, assigned a truck I didn't necessarily mean to. And I'm sure you, watching this, did I send it to Red... I did, didn't I? I sent it to Red Hill Steel. Oh, nuts. Uh, you, Red Car Steel. Yes, Red Hill, Red Car, two different places. Okay, that's better. 
three minutes yes uh, anything out is there any outliers no I think that's all good some of these are pretty flaming swift right we can get rid of all of that and now it's it's train time people two train routes to set up and then uh, and then everything will be glorious train four has reached its life yeah 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 yes go away right two routes one two so first off, and this is definitely Plymouth, so this is going to be Plymouth, uh, where do we go here? Let's go Plymouth Coal. Why have you got it? No, you, it can't go there. It needs to go here. There you go. And there. Right, this is Plymouth Coal. And this one is going to be Plymouth Ore. Plymouth or what? Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Plim mouth. Oh, right. Yes, yes. Good. Trains. Buying trains. Running trains. Lots of train based goodness. Right, here we go. So, uh, now, this is a hilly area. There is lots of up and down going on there. So I'm going to want to train with a plenty of uh, plenty of tractive effort available. So this one will do 280, because these are our, our, you know, our, our primary two to choose from. I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not averse to using diesels. Two million for 314, or 1.8 million for 395. I think that might be the way to go, don't you? I don't need it to go over 140. That you know, that's that's excessive. Right. Okay, we're going to go have one of those, and this is going to be the coal route. So I guess we use open wagons for that. I guess we do. What are the choices here? Yeah, coal or iron. Right. Uh, really, is that the best one? Everything else seems to be able to carry more of, but no, I guess so. Uh, right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six do it. No, let's go seven. Let's go eight. Uh, 104. Uh, if, it could, if it ever gets to the point where it's carrying 104, I will be uh, surprised. So let's uh, Plymouth Coal. Good hunting, friend. Uh, and then uh, the, our associate here, which will use exactly the same setup. Except obviously this time I want to set it for iron ore. Let's, let's call up the train window on that, otherwise I'll miscount. And you can go on uh, Plymouth Ore. There we go. Now, I shouldn't need any signals on here. Once this is cleared out of the way, we should be in a, uh, uh, a signals are not necessary uh, situation. You're supposed to be on the coal line. I told you which you were going on when you left the flaming depot. God, you... You idiot. Have I got room to put a junction in here? Please build in two steps because it's not snapped. Oh, for crying out loud. And of course, the other train's kind of trying to come out. Trains, man. Trains. I tell you, they're stupid. Um, where are we? Plymouth or you go to the depot. Oh, what a surprise. You made it already. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Don't make me delete a bit of track to get you going on the right one. Yeah, you might well slink back into the depot, hanging your head in shame. Right. What's in the depot? <gasps> Some trains. I'm going to try this again. All right, here we go. Plymouth Coal. No, 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 no. That's the... That, no, no, that is the... Yeah, he's done it again, hasn't it? Turns up the station, goes, ta-da! And you kind of go, no! You moron. 
Right, we're going to have to do this slightly differently then. You, Plymouth Coal, go. It's magic, everybody. Magic is what it is. Stupid trains. Uh, anyway, you know, love it. Uh, you uh, have a radical guess where you're going. What do you mean, no path? You flipping, I've got a path. All right, okay, let's, what have I done? Right, yeah, okay, so show me the... I've connected this up and... and hold everything. There is a, a small but minor problem <laughs> with this piece of track. Oh my goodness. How did I miss that? Right, let's put some points in there. That way I don't have to delete quite as much. And then let's connect them up. Which is what I assumed it had done before. There you go. Right. Are we uh, are we now operational? We are operational. Okay, good. Thank you very much for watching today. Uh, you know, chaos reigns supreme as ever. Um, are you carrying any ore at all? No, of course not. But you will. I swear it. Okay, production zero. Line usage, though, yes. Product potential of nine. I find that hard to believe. So the product potential, my understanding, is uh, is that's the, the demand that sat there going. Right. Is it going to tell me? Go on, you gave a nice tool tip there over, over iron ore. Number of items which could be sent to customers. Mm. Okay, maybe that's it doesn't have a bearing on demand at all then. Uh, let's uh, let's leave as we uh, as we mean to go on by following some good strains. So yeah, this is going to be um, incredibly costly for for some time uh, until uh, the uh, the mines in question learn how to spit out the goods. Anything? Anything at all? No, not interested yet. You will be. Shall I keep this running until they show any interest? Make something. Mm -hmm -hmm. It will work. I've seen it work. And it's a pretty sight when it does. Because right now I'm running 10 trucks and 2 trains carrying absolutely nothing with quite a lot of infrastructure that I've built to make this happen. So it would be quite nice if it actually happened. This time. This time. Yes, look, there's coal waiting. There is coal waiting there. Alright, I have been... Let's, let's go for a dramatic closing hero shot here. Uh... I mean, it's not the most heroic-looking train in the world, is it? Uh, anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. Um, you know, this has been one of those uh, one of those many occasions where just madness in track laying and, and spending far too much money. So chuck us a like if you enjoyed this one. Uh, subscribe, please, if you haven't done so already. And I will catch up with you in the very near future. If I timed that better, we would now be pulling into the station... Thanks for watching. Timing wrong again. Here we go. Pick up the coal and turn around. And then I can I can just say the magic word. Cheerio. This is...